YouTube, what is going on? It's Mike here, back with another one. So today I'm actually gonna install my um, my indicators and um, show you what it looks like, how I'm gonna do it. First, I have to take off the front panel, I mean front light again. Um, also, I did change my ignition coil to a Nibby. Um, I'll put it the link in the description, but I don't know if you guys can see it in there. It's kind of hard to see up in there, but there it is. Yeah, so uh, it's an aftermarket high performance coil. So I did use the same uh, sleeve or boot from my stock coil. So um, put that on there. I actually use the same um, uh, tachometer from my miles and hours, and I did put on the RPM gauge for the vapor. So, um, yeah, I, I actually changed the rear suspension, but uh, I, I put back the stock one. So that's the stock one. Um, the one I've had on there came damaged. And so I just chalked the whole video and said, forget about it um, and decided to make a video for this. So um, I just got this today. I didn't really open it up yet to see, show you guys what it looks like. But let me just open it. Um, don't see much information on this on YouTube, but I see when I look it up, I see bikes that have it on, but not like it installed separately. So, you know, um, oh, some stuff fell. Okay, hopefully nothing important. All right, so this is the cover for it. Comes with a mounting bracket, wiring. I'm assuming these are all of the covers and lights. Okay, so. I'm gonna get it all together. I already decided what, because they have different, it's only four slots for um, uh, lights. So I know I'm gonna do neutral, high beam, and left and right indicators. So I don't have a fuel gauge, I don't need that. And I don't know if there's another one on there, hold on. So let's take this out, just show you guys what this looks like and what it's gonna look like. So uh, it just snaps on actually snaps on so it's gonna snap on and look like that so i'm gonna get it all together and show you what it looks like i'll show you guys my wiring too because looks like these are the four lights so i have to wire um these connectors to the indicators which orange and blue i already know are left and right indicators because that's what they're on, on my bike and we have ground and Looks like a green, maybe a neutral. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get it together. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm wiring it. All right. All right, guys. So um, I got the wiring. I think I got the wiring good. So, um, but I have to take this whole bracket off because see the lights and the tubes can't go past that bracket right here. This bracket is definitely blocking the way. So I'm gonna use the bracket that it came with I might have to screw some holes into this plate to mount it, but um, yeah, I got everything going now. So that's the neutral light. Um, left indicator, right indicator, and the other one is high beams, which I have to test when the actual bike is running because I just can't do it right now. And the light is off, which is over there. So. Um, I'm going to take this off, get this bracket and show, I mean, get this bracket off and show you what the bracket actually looks like or how I'm going to have it. But that's what it's going to look like so far. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. All right, real quick guys, I did have to drill into the frame right here, put two bolts, just use my drill. And um, this is how it's looking, I have it aimed. And right now it's not like I can slide it left and right. It's not tight, tight, so I can kind of center it how I want to. So yeah, everything is looking good so far. Almost done. I just got to put the, the headlight on to make sure it looks centered with it. I'm going to put in the lights and then show you everything when it's done and how it looks and what works and what doesn't work. All right. All right, guys, so I am done. Um, everything is pretty much working. I just have to test out the high beams when I start it. Um, but yeah, neutral light comes on. Left blinker, right blinker, and I think when I turn on the lights, 
that cuts off, but I gotta see if the high beams come. So I'm gonna start it up. It's gonna be a cold start. And um, actually when I installed that yesterday, I did a cold start on it too. So let me try another cold start on it now, see if it goes. Let me hold the choke. So I gotta see why the high beams are not working, but um, everything else seems to be working. I'm gonna take something apart and check to see why the high beams aren't working. Just give me a minute and I'll be right back. All right, after about a half hour of sitting here trying to figure it out, um, I got the wiring right. Um, pretty much the harness that came with it, it had it's a black and a green wire. Both of those need to go into the same um, ground and then or the same green wire and then the actual uh black wire that goes to the neutral light go is separate so i had to just wire that separately so okay so we got neutral there we got left i'm sorry right now left and the high beams are on now so so i got that all right and we're good to go. And yeah, had to do this real time. So uh, you guys saw the first startup. Well, not the first, but I did the first startup yesterday. I still haven't ridden it yet since I installed the Nibby car. I mean, car, Nibby um, coil. So I'll put a link in the description for that. I'll put a link in the description for this. Um, it's the vapor indicator striker. It's for the striker, the vapor, just the indicators pretty much. So now, um, you know, I know what my lights are, my left, my right, and my high beams. So appreciate it, guys. Um, that's it for today. Man, it's been raining so much. <laughs> I can't even get a ride in. So there's that. I got a, uh, my exhaust update on that should be in some either uh, tomorrow, no, Friday or Monday. That's Friday or Monday. So you guys will see that install coming soon. But all right. I'm pretty much done with the Moto Max. Yeah, man, I love this bike. Um, it's very, very fun. Uh, I'm coming up on 500 miles. So I'm going to do a review on it and let people know how good it is. And um, that's about it. So appreciate you guys. I'll be back with another one. Peace.